Hi everyone, welcome to Anti Hospitals channel. I'm Ichin, a miscarriage consultant. Today, I'll be sharing with you a video of one of our patients. If you have suffered from two or more consecutive miscarriages and there seem to be no treatment that works for you, then this video might be the answer that you have been searching for. Her name is Wang Yan. Madam Wang suffered from seven miscarriages, all within one to two months of pregnancy. So that means that she was experiencing what we call a recurrent early miscarriage. She was truly in despair. Previously, she and her husband went for various diagnostic testings, but doctors could not find the reasons behind her miscarriages. Madam Wang received all sorts of treatment, but they were all unsuccessful and she continued to miscarry. Madam Wang was searching for a second opinion when she was recommended by a friend to Antai Hospital. So a quick blood test at Antai Hospital revealed that she actually has a form of reproductive immunological disorder. So the one that she has in particular is called anti-embryonic antibodies. And such anti-embryonic antibodies actually account for as much as 67% of all unexplained recurrent early miscarriages. All these anti-embryonic antibodies are mainly developed during a surgical abortion procedure or an induced abortion procedure. Other reasons could be due to childbirth or having intercourse while menstruating. The ultimate effect of these anti-embryonic antibodies is that every time you get pregnant, your anti-embryonic antibodies will get activated and they will eventually attack the embryo's fibronectin. It will eventually affect the embryo's fibronectin layer and the embryo's fibronectin layer is actually an immune barrier that helps to protect the embryo. So once that immune barrier is gone, naturally the mother's immune cells are free to attack the embryo and a miscarriage will occur. So if you don't get treatment for it, you will keep con this whole cycle will keep repeating and you will suffer from a miscarriage within the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. So now back to Madam Wang, after testing positive for anti-embryonic antibodies, she received an immunotherapy which is exclusively available at Anti Hospital. And afterwards, she went on to have a very successful pregnancy, like finally, after seven miscarriages, she gave birth to a healthy child, which is the boy that you saw sitting on her lap just now. At the time of recording, Madam Wang is back at Antai Hospital because she's pregnant with her second child. So she's back for another round of immunotherapy to ensure that this pregnancy will also be successful. So now let's take a look at the full interview with Madam Wang. Uh, 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 自己做过其他相关的治疗应该很好,我觉得,再来以后,不就有这个小宝贝了,感谢,所以这一次呢,就是又怀了二胎,又过来保胎。真的是极数精湛,也非常感恩。Having anti-embryonic antibodies is a reproductive immunological disorder. This disorder is scary because it is silent yet deadly. So if you're experiencing a recurrent miscarriage, especially in the first trimester, and then you cannot seem to find a reason why, then please bear in mind that uh, anti-embryonic antibodies are actually a very significant factor towards early miscarriages. Anti Hospital specializes in the prevention and treatment of recurrent miscarriages. We have an exclusive technology that will help to diagnose and treat anti-embryonic antibodies. If you are interested to learn more, I will leave the link to our article in the description. Also, please visit our website www.antihospitals.com or email us at enquiry at for more information. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!